Now let's look at the first example. So the current through a, a capacitor is given in this form and determine the waveform for the voltage across a capacitor if it's initially uncharged. So what do we know about the capacitor? So over here you just need to know the most important equation, which is the basic equation. The current going through this capacitor is always equal to C times dV dt. So now the current is given, we are looking for the voltage. Then you can solve voltage from this equation. From here, if we want to solve the voltage, we need to do the integration, right? So the voltage Vt will become the integration. So this is the current I, right? So we plug It into this formula. What is It? So my suggestion would be you write It if you are not sure. So It for time t that is greater than zero and less than two milliseconds. We have it is equal to 10 milliamp. When t is greater than 2, it becomes 0. So we need to do the integration. To do the integration, this is the integration from 0 to infinity. So remember, this is 0 to infinity. And we need to break this down into these two different terms. And from time from, for time from 0 to 2, we have a vt from any time 0 to a time t for the first case. In this case, it is equal to 10 milliamp. So we will do 10 milliamp here. And if you are not sure about the units, and we will do times 10 to the power of negative uh, 3 dt. And c is given, which is a 100 mu fa. So it's 100 times 10 to the power of negative uh, 6. So this is how we do the calculation. So that is 100 t. So this, is a, this will have a unit of volts. When t is greater than 2 milliseconds, what do we have? The integration of this should be the V at a t is equal to 2 milliseconds plus that integration from 2 milliseconds to whatever time t. This current I have a value of 0, that is 0 0.2 volts. So this is how we did the calculation. Uh, we need to draw the curve. It will be something like this. So that completes this problem. Look at the next problem. The voltage across this two far capacitor is given in this waveform. That we know the voltage on this capacitor and we're gonna find the current going through the capacitor. The same thing, whenever you see a capacitor, we know the current going through the capacitor is equal to C times dV over dt. In this problem, we are giving V, we're going to find a current I, which is very straightforward, right? So we'll do it a segment by segment to find its a derivative. For time t is a less than 20 seconds, what do we have? The current I, uh, the function of a t, is equal to C times dV over dt. dV over dt, for the time within 20 seconds, the, the derivative of this becomes 4 minus 0 divided by 20, right? That gives us 1.2n. And when t that is a greater than 20 seconds and a less than 30 seconds, and the current is equal to 2 times the derivative of that, the derivative of this will be negative 12 minus 12 over 30 minus 20. So that is a 10, so this is negative 2.4m. And similarly, for the last segment, for t that is a greater than 30 seconds and a less than 50 seconds, in that case, we we'll use 0 minus negative 12 divided by 50 minus 30. So that will give us 1.2 amp. That is how we solve this problem. So next step, we just need to draw the current. The current will have this form. Next problem, so this is about an inductor. So we have a 10 millihertz inductor, and we know the voltage across this inductor, we're gonna find uh, the current. So for inductors, the voltage on the inductor is always equal to L times D current I T D T. The voltage on this inductor is always equal to, it's conductance L times D I over D T. So over here in this problem, we are giving V, we're gonna find uh, the current going through it. To find the current, we need to do the integration. 
So the way to do it is the same as what we did before. This waveform is composed of two segments of a straight line. We need to do it segment by segment. For time t that is less than, for time t is from 0 to 1 second, the voltage Vt is a straight line, right? The slope is 10 divided by 1 millisecond, and this is millivolts, this is millisecond, so the slope is 10. How about for the second segment? Between 1 second and 2 seconds, so this should be a negative 10t plus 0.02 amp. The rest is pretty straightforward. We just need to do the integration. We need to do the integration from 0 to whatever time t. You can change t to another variable, say tau, if you like. So this is still the, the function of a vt, because we have an integra integration limit to vt. L over here, that is giving is a 10 millihenry. So I'm going to replace L by 10 millihenry. This 10 tau to the integration will give us 5 tau square. Now plug this value in there, so it becomes 5 t square. 5 t square divided by 10 times 10 to the power of negative 3, that will give us uh, 500 t square. And uh, we use the standard units, which is m. So this is the first part. The second part, do the integration for the second part. 1 over l, this integration Remember, we need to do the integration from one second. If we do the integration from one second, it means that we need to use i at a t is equal to one millisecond. And the equation over here, that is a negative 10 tau plus 0 0.02 d tau. How do we calculate i when t is equal to one milliamp? So we can find i is equal to t is equal to one milliamp from the previous equation. So we plug this value in there, that will give us uh, 0 0.5 times 10 to the power of uh, negative 3. And the second part is the integration of this. So the first term is a uh, negative 5t squared plus that. And this is uh, down from the limit of uh, t from 1 millisecond. So the unit is uh, m, so we use a standard unit. So this is how we uh, did the calculation. And the next step, we can draw this. We calculate the value over here, right? Which is a uh, 0.5 milliamp. And on the top over here, if you plug in the value in there, you should get a 1 milliamp. So last example, we know the current to find uh, the voltage. So the current is over here, the voltage is that. So we just need to find the current form. So the current over here is a sinusoidal function, right? So it's equal to negative uh, 0.12 and the unit is a milliamp to the power of negative 3 times the sine function, right? What is the omega? So we know the period is 1 millisecond. We know the period, and 1 period means 2 pi. 2 pi need 1 millisecond, 2,000 pi. So this is IT. So once you can find an IT to find a voltage, it becomes very straightforward. So L is equal to 0 0.4 millihenry. And uh, di dt becomes this, and uh, causing that, then times 2000 pi, then times causing this. Sorry, there is a negative sign there. So if we draw a constant function, it will be something like that. But uh, we need a negative constant function, so we just need to flip it, right? So that will give us the plot. And also the peak is a uh, negative 3.015 times 10 to the negative 4. 